Konnichiwa everyone, Sephiroth Sword 57 here. So, here we are, my second Q&A. I've been reading your comments and picked out a couple of questions that I wanted to answer. So if I don't answer your question, it's probably because you didn't follow the rules or I don't know how to answer your question. I will also skip some of the questions that ask things like uh, have you played this game or what's your opinion on this? And the reason for that is that maybe I don't have anything to say about it or maybe that I want to do a review on it or talk about it at a later date. Now that that is out of the way, let's begin the Q&A. Are there any games that you like despite being Baka game design? Any guilty pleasures? As a game designer and a video game analyst, I only play good games. Have you watched the anime One Punch Man? If so, what are your thoughts? Yes, I have. And it is super sugoi. Do you wish Shadow the Hedgehog was real? If so, what would you say to him? What, what, what are you talking about? Hey Shadow, come over here! See? He's real. <laughs> no guys, I'm, I'm just joking. This is actually just special effects that I use in my videos. But I do think that Shadow would be a pretty cool guy to hang out with. Would you ever do a collaboration with other YouTubers? No, I don't think so. Most YouTubers lack in quality. And sadly, they don't have the same kind of game knowledge that I possess. What gave you your inspiration to start this majestic YouTube channel? Like I said in the previous question, most YouTubers lack the kind of knowledge necessary to make quality content, or they are just too afraid to admit the truth. So that is the reason why I wanted to start creating videos. What's your opinion on Pokemon? Oh, you mean that Noah's Ark simulator where you collect badly designed puppies and kittens and store them in the tiny balls? No thank you! Have you ever thought about moving to Japan where your talent could be properly appreciated? I would love to move to Japan, but right now I feel that the western audience needs my knowledge the most. It brings joy to my heart when I see all the swordlings waking up from their western society slumber. Arigato! Hey Sephiroth Sword 57 I knew a few females at my school who might be swordlings in disguise. I overheard one of them saying Final Fantasy and other video game related terms. I really want to date one of them, but I don't know what I should say. Any advice? Okay, don't panic. If you want to talk to one of them, I suggest that you start off with a little joke, just to break the ice. Hey, what would you call Sephiroth when he comes to your door wearing a suit and handling out pamphlets? A Genova's witness, of course. And then you can continue on with an interesting topic. Who do you think would win in a death battle? Sephiroth or Titus? That would lead to some deeper discussions. And lastly, you can finish with this. Here is a red materia if you ever want to summon me. Dear Sephiroth Sword 57 Senpai, as a popular YouTuber, I have to put up with a lot of hate comments, daily. How do you deal with the stress of being a YouTube giant and the endless torrent of Reddit haters? Don't forget my swordlings, Bakas focuses on winners, winners focuses on Sugoines. If you can personally write and complete disc 2 of Xenogates, what would you have happened? Disc 2 should begin with Fei Fong Wong teaming up with Luca from Chrono Trigger, since she is already a cameo in the game. Luca then builds a time machine, which can also warp between different dimensions. Together they team up with cool characters from both animes and JRPGs. They go through every good JRPG, meeting characters and defeating menacing bosses. I know it's not possible, but it would definitely be super sugoi. Do you know Kung Fu? No, Kung Fu is Chinese. 
but I do know Japanese martial arts. I have been practicing Bujikan Budo Taijutsu for a while now. It's the most deadly martial art out there. Will you be my friend? If you're a swordling, then you are a friend to me. What drove you into anime, JRPGs and Japanese culture in general? Before I discovered Japanese culture, I was going through some tough times. I always felt like an outsider and I didn't know who I was. But one day, when I was doing homework in the school library, I saw these paperback books on one of the shelves. I've just discovered anime, and if you didn't guess it already, I didn't do homework that day. I felt connected to the characters, and I could really relate to the humor. It was on that day that I became the Sephiroth Sword 57 you all know today. And those were all the questions that I could answer. I think we should do these Q&As more often. And now, I have an announcement to make about Season 2. Season 2 will begin in February, and it will start off with something really, really special. The month of February will be known as Final Fantasy February. In the month of February, I will only make Final Fantasy related content. This is really big. I hope you swordlings are looking forward to this. Also, there's one thing I guess I have to mention. Down in the description there are links to a Twitter account and an Instagram account. Those are Dave's personal accounts and not mine. I, I don't really care about stuff like that because I have other things to work on. So Dave will be handling the social media. He makes channel updates on his Twitter account once in a while. So you can check that out if you want to. And that is the end of this video. I hope that you look forward to Final Fantasy Month. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good night, evening, morning or day. Bye!